Yes, uh, I actually started on May 1st, 1984. It's actually 38 years that I'm with FedEx. Uh, I started at uh, the Mandela School, uh, that's in KZN. Uh, it's, I just celebrated my 38 years on 1st of May. Currently, an operations manager for the business in Select and Automobile. Uh, just to give you a little history, I started as a general assistant with FedEx in 1984. Well, you know, Sebo is a, a great company. Uh, and that's what made me stay, you know, stay with this company. And, and you could see it stood the test of time. It's the only catering company that's really standing strong. Uh, it's employees, uh, you know, it's a great team that we work with. You know, I've been through many leaderships, but one thing is they treated us well. You know, they haven't changed. They, 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 they're so good to you. Uh, and as much as a lot of people have come and gone, but the leadership was very constant. Uh, well, just like any other employee, you go through a lot of uh, ups and downs, but you know, it gave me more experience while I was going through this. And that's what made me so successful. Uh, going through his ups and downs, and, and it's a great company, you know. I've learned, you know, never to change who you are, but, uh, you know, stick to the company policies and procedures, and you'll always be successful. Be uh, resilient, uh, be innovative, always be ready for change. As much as we long in this company, we've got to be innovative. If we stick to the old ways, we're going to be, we're going to be left behind. So, you know, that's, that's my advice to the, the, the upcoming people, uh, is to always be true to yourself. honest, uh, I will give you an area where they've been very supportive to me. In uh, January last year, it was actually the 5th of January, I had COVID. I ended up 37 days in hospital. I thought, I'll, uh, to be honest, I thought I'll never, I'll never get back to work. In fact, they were going to board me off as well uh, because I was going to be reliant on oxygen. Mm. But my team the inspiration. In fact, I'm getting bubbles in my throat right now. Mm. They've kept me, you know, strong. You, you are a fighter, you'll make it. And that brought me back. You know, I learned the value of our KZN team. You know, we go for a lot of team building exercises and whatever, but it showed up during this time. They really were so supportive. You know, it was not only to work related, but to your personal life. You know, I started at the very bottom as I said earlier, I was a GA. I worked through, I worked myself through, and it was all through experience. And over those years, every step was, you know, important to me, seeing that I've become successful. I've come from, you know, very humble beginnings. I was, a, to be honest, uh, brought up by a single mother. And I, I didn't have the opportunity to go to universities and whatever, but Sebo assisted me through. Mm -hmm. 
it's you know we are who makes this company great and there's one thing that i've learned uh you know it's a combination of experience uh, and i've always learned one thing don't work on your weaknesses concentrate on your strengths you'll have somebody in the team that will be strong in your weaknesses and that's what made me go forward in this industry guys sebo is great if you're joining in it's a great company great people great leadership and it it's what i want to say when i i, I know it's the only company i worked for and i really enjoyed i'm still enjoying it